what is up guys and welcome back to another transformers video here today and we have a ton of new updates from the mouth of lorenzo himself and some good some bad so let's just cover it all getting right into it i'm just going to give you the craziest news straight up we have six new transformers films that are actively or no, I shouldn't say actively, that are in development, in early development, in early conceptualiz conceptualization. They are planning out uh, two trilogies. We're going to get a Rise of, the, Rise of the Beast is the beginning of a trilogy. So you got Rise of the Beast. We're getting two sequels to that. We're still getting the animated Transformers 1, which will be the beginning of a animated trilogy in September of this year. And then we got another movie announced that has been in development and the writing stages since 2021. So we're going on three years of writing here, which is not good, I'll just tell you that. This movie is being written by the same guy that did Blue Beetle, which pretty much, I mean, people like the movie, but it was a massive flop and pretty much a failure from DC last year. So I don't really know what to think, but the, the interesting thing here is this movie is not a sequel to Rise of the Beast. So we don't even know where it's gonna fit in. We have no information. So fully transparent and covering everything. I'm just gonna run through this article really quickly and summarize everything. So, of course, this is the article here. New live action Transformers movie, not Rise of the Beast 2, gets a cautious update from producer. I don't even think you can call it that. But of course, they're talking about Lorenzo Di Bonaventura and of course his jackass giving his uh, statements. <laughs> and so, new live action Transformers movie, which is not a sequel to Rise of the Beast, has gotten an update. The sequel is set to be part of a new trilogy of movies, which will see the franchise crossover with G.I. Joe. However, however, another unconnected movie in the franchise is being directed by Blue Beetle's Angel Manuel Soto. I'm going to guess it's Angel with the accent. But uh, otherwise, Angel Manuel Soto began development in 2021. Now, that movie, again, they go on to explain how there's no script. The script is still in development. There's literally no info they can give away. I don't even think Lorenzo knows what the movie is going to be about. Probably just knows like a rough time period and then kind of have like a, a set a set idea. Like the Bumblebee movie, here's your set idea. You're following Bumblebee on Earth solo. That's the set idea. They didn't have anything else other than that at first, but they built the movie around that premise. It's probably something similar with here. They probably have a general idea of a story they probably want to tell. Maybe a specific character, maybe another spin-off solo movie. I'd be totally okay with that, something like the Bumblebee movie. But honestly, we don't have anything to go on here. But continuing, like he says, the script is still in development. This is not a sequel to Rise of the Beasts, um, which which is interesting because it's taking place as... It, it, it is a sequel technically because it's following the continuity but the reason i think they're making the distinct uh they're, they're making the distinction that it's not a sequel is because they do have plans to have more of a direct sequel type of movie picking up the story of rise of the beast so i'm assuming that's why they're saying it's not a sequel to rise of the beast because they have something else in mind but again, it, it's kind of weird because they have Transformers 1 in production. They're talking about this this Rise of the Beast sequel. And now we have uh, this that we now know about. So really how it's all going to happen, we have no idea. But of course, they're saying we want to have a crossover with G.I. Joe. And I mean, I'm holding my thoughts on that for a second. So speaking with Screen Rant about the new Apple TV drama series, The New Look, Bonaventura confirms Soto's new Transformers film, which is not the uh, sequel. Uh, it is still in development. The script is still in development, giving away an info, yada, yada. So we did actually get some more information on Transformers 1 here, getting that it's fully confirmed that it will be exploring uh, how trans how Cyber excuse me, exploring how Cybertron fell to Megatron and the Decepticons. And this will also be the beginning of a new animated trilogy, which will tie together the origin story of the live action movies. Now, they're very generic when they say this, tie together, or they say that will connect its story to the rest of the movies. What does that mean? Because we know Lorenzo and the company themselves are still trying to insist that all of the live action movies are canon in the same timeline, even though it is very clear that Rise of the Beasts is a reboot because already Transformers had many continuity issues with the lore. But what they're continuing to do now is just dilute it even further and further complicated rather than just committing to this reboot. Now, 
I'm kind of on the fence about the whole back and forth thing, because although I do love the Bayverse movies, with the exception of the last one, I do recognize that they were not, they were kind of in a stale place, and the story was not really going anywhere good with the whole Unicron Earth thing. I don't think that was going to be a very good story. There's actually a, a fan film that finished the story in a much better fashion than I think the, the actual movie could ever possibly do you should go check that out honestly i can't remember the exact name of the of the fan film but if you look up like sequel to transformers 5 fan film you will definitely find it it's a stop motion amazing movie but back to my point uh we don't know what uh the excuse the transformers 1 animated show if this is going to be a prequel for the rise of the beast canon or is this going to be a prequel for the 2007 canon or are they just going to start telling a whole new story and start contradicting themselves before they can even make it clear what they're trying to do? And that's probably what I'm going to go with, because based off what we know about this movie, we know we're going to have Sentinel Prime, we know we're going to have Optimus, we know we're going to have Alita One and Megatronus, and I, I genuinely don't understand how they're going to make this make sense, because I don't see them committing to the rise of the beast timeline but if they don't do that it won't make sense and i'll tell you why first off sentinel prime being antagonistic towards optimus prime would not work with the bayverse canon because we know that he's set up to be like his greatest friend his greatest mentor and teacher there's no antagonistic relationship between them until it's revealed that sentinel turns on them so i think we can kind of assume or hope and believe that they're going to be sticking with the Rise of the Beast timeline, which then calls into question what they're going to be doing with this whole plan. So, from my personal opinion, what I think they may be doing, just based off my best uh, summarization, is we're going to be getting a Rise of the Beast sequel, probably the last, probably the third movie we get. The next two movies we're going to get are probably or definitely going to be the Transformers 1, prequel in September 24th, 2024 this year. Then I do believe that this uh this uh movie that is unrelated may may be made or we're going to get the the GI Joe sequel or GI Joe Transformers crossover which they're making very clear this is not the Rise of the Beast sequel. So it, it's so confusing the way they're doing this cuz so that's why I say I don't even think Lorenzo knows but Again, I just wanted to get this news out there, talk about it with you guys. I'd love to see the comments down below. It's been a while since I've covered a lot of Transformers stuff. News has been very slow recently. I've started back up school again, so my uploads haven't been as frequent. But as soon as news like this comes out, you can be damn sure I'm going to be covering it as fast as possible. So hit that sub button if you want to stay up to date on all Transformers news and lore. I will be covering pretty much everything i can't wait for transformers reactivate to come out i'll be covering all of these movies depending on if they're good or bad who cares i'll be there likes dislikes anything is appreciated let me know in the comments down below and until next time peace